Guys, I... I need to apologize. Actually, I do. <laughs> Why am I... I actually do have to apologize. Yeah, I haven't made many videos this year. I really haven't. And I could start going into the ifs, ands, whys, buts, who's its, and what's its, and when's its of it all. And I will. I'll do it right now. At the start of the year, I needed a break. I was totally burnt out, on edge, stressed, borderline depressed. And I took a break in January and I felt great. Then came February and I spent a lot of time on that video. Like that took like two weeks to make that video. And then the video didn't do very well, which I have merch for if you want to buy a Sorry Jerry t-shirt. <laughs> now we're in March. We're already like a third of the way through the year. What is happening? What's my excuse for halfway through March? You might be wondering. This time the excuse is a little weaker. I'm going to show you today. You might hate me for it. <laughs> I've been addicted to something again. Again, and it's just sucked up all of my time. So to start, I have to show you this. And this isn't the video today. We're gonna be on this for like 10 seconds, trust me. A couple of weeks ago on Twitch, a bunch of friends and streamers and I started this huge Minecraft server. It is massive. There are so many things happening in here that every time I sign on, there's like some kind of new building. But it got me back into Minecraft. I've built a horse stable. I have my farm. I have my crops. I have all, I have all of this. I have creepers sat with my chickens. But anyway, I've been playing this and I, I do like it. As always with me, I, I end up missing story. I want that progression. I want to feel like I'm working towards something the game wants me to work towards rather than just a free for all of whatever you want to do. So I accidentally reinstalled another game on my Switch. This game is so good. This game is so good. For $15, I honestly think this is the most addicting Switch game. The most worth the price Switch game. I reviewed this like four or five years ago at this point. But I remember back then the game didn't really stick for me. Like I know it was good. You know, I got the gist of it and I threw it in an eShop video and I knew people would love it. But for me, I... I hadn't really got into games like this yet. This is before I'd even played Dragon Quest Builders and got super addicted to that. It was before I even tried Minecraft for the first time. Crafting games, honestly, I didn't want them. But then Dragon Quest Builders happened, which led me to Minecraft. And then while I was playing Minecraft, I wanted more. And believe it or not, Stardew Valley for $15 gives me so much more. I gotta restart actually, because I just lost like two hours of the day while I was talking. It actually started because Kim and I started a joint farm, and even though we were having fun playing together, we hated that we had to share our money. So we ended up both just starting our own separate farms, but we play next to each other anyway, so it feels like we're playing together. This has honestly taken away so much time out of my life, and I'm not really even that mad about it. So this is my farm. I have this mission right now. There is so much to the game, it's overwhelming. I'll show you my routine every morning I wake up in this game. But I have this huge crop order to make a hundred yams. And I really wanted to see what the substantial reward was. All of this is me trying to grow yams. And most of my day is honestly just spent watering my crops. Not counting my other two playthroughs that didn't stick. This is my first official playthrough. So if you want to leave any suggestions down below for like things I could be doing better or differently, I'm open to it. Believe me. <gasps> a new baby chick has hatched. Glad you guys are here for this moment. Ooh, that's kind of a cute name actually. Um, you know what? I've never used one of the default names, but that's actually kind of cute. It's like pew. <laughs> it's like it stinks. Look at the baby chicken. Okay, anyway, I get to collect my eggs in the morning. I get to pet my chickens. This is Lorraine, actually named after a guest judge in a cooking show that Kim and I watch. This is Elaine, because it rhymed with Lorraine and we were watching Seinfeld at the time. <laughs> this is Daffy, because it's a duck. Snowball, because it's white. Duck Bert because it's a duck. Miss Pluckins. And babe. I don't know. I got I got lazy on that one. I just called it babe. All right, so I got to I gotta feed them or else they get mad at me. And then when I pet them in the morning, they have little angry squiggle lines instead of nice little sweet hearts. This video is relaxingly sponsored by Audible. Go to audible.com slash beat-em-ups or text beat-em-ups to 500-500. For the last couple years, I have been an active user of Audible. It started with Supermarket, a book I thoroughly enjoyed and then realized that the author had voiced the Audible version. After that, I was hooked. Amy Poehler voicing her own book, Yes Please. Nick Offerman voicing this book that I really like. Also podcasts like Real Crime and so many other Audible originals. 
I was already subscribed to a bunch of video streaming and gaming services, so it just made sense to experience thousands of new audiobooks too. Their newest plan, Audible Plus, gives you full access to the popular Plus catalog. You can listen all you want to thousands and thousands of popular audiobooks, original entertainment, and podcasts, all available to download and stream on any of your devices. Being able to listen while cooking, exercising, on a walk, in the car, or just relaxing, it's a huge benefit. I love that it's cutting down my already ridiculous amount of screen time, but I still get to do my stuff without getting bored. <laughs> with an Audible Plus membership, you can download or stream without limits, so why not give it a shot for 30 days for free? Just visit audible.com forward slash beat'em-ups or text beat'em-ups to 500-500. It's free, it's easy, and you help support the channel directly, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, Audible, for sponsoring. This was so relaxing. I almost don't want to go back to the video, I, but I have to. All right, let's go. Now we can go see my cows. <gasps> Look at my cow, banana. That's Bethany. This is Lady. Yeah, I named this one Mr. Moo. <laughs> I felt so dumb when Kim was like, you know that it should be Mrs. Moo, right? But whatever. We don't stick to gender norms here on the Hawker Ranch. Oh, and um, Bertha. Thankfully, this game has no nets, so I don't have to whack this cow. <laughs> so then I milk my cows every morning. Then you take the milk and you put it in the cheese thing. And it'll make cheese. Honestly, I do this routine every morning morning. It's gotten so bad to the point where this morning when I was lying in bed half awake, I was going through my routine in my head. And I was like, going to my chickens, getting the eggs, putting them in the mayonnaise, going to my cows, milking them, putting the cheese in. I'm not even kidding. So I just got chests everywhere filling up with all this stuff. Here's all my gold stuff. Honestly, I don't even know what I'm keeping up in here anymore. Why am I holding grapes? Alex needs a catfish. Or who needs a pumpkin? Caroline needs a pumpkin. Or see if I have a catfish. I don't. Oh, wait, I do. Oh, perfect. I think I was given that this morning by Lewis. Again, it was only $15. There is so much you can do. I know you might've seen how messy my farm was or the grass. Don't worry about that. <laughs> I don't have time. I don't have time to clean it. This is her, right? I'm pretty sure. No, I gave her the catfish. Ah! Can I have my catfish back? Is it just me or does Abigail play too many videos? No, there's probably a joke here in the fact that I'm making a video about the fact that I've been addicted to this video game and the first person I talk to asks me if it's an issue that her friend plays too many video games. Game, why are you calling me out? <laughs> I'm feeling attacked right now. Stardew Valley catfish. I need to know if I can catch one real quick. A catfish is a fish that can be found in the river during spring and fall during rainy weather. <sighs> That's fine. That's fine. We don't, we don't worry about it. If I wasn't making a video right now, I'd honestly just restart the day. But I've already milked my eggs. Milked my eggs. <laughs> he gave me a Mackie ro- he was The only reason I restarted it is because he gave me a catfish. Oh my God. This game's very relaxing. <laughs> There's so many things about this game that I don't know if they were unintentional by the developers. Like getting longer days when you go fishing. It can either be just a happy little accident or it can be intentional but either way it's brilliant because it helps you relax because you know you have more time and i don't have to worry about how much time i'm taking to catch this really difficult fish oh yeah i got it baby what is it tiger trout never got that before hey uh, yeah we know abigail plays too many games shut up here's your pumpkin i think tomorrow is the big day of the yams it's the yamming where i think all oh, hundred of these yams i planted are gonna sprout tomorrow and i can pick them and we can find out what this substantial reward oh wine oh mayonnaise oh cheese <gasps> Why is this game so good? <gasps> These ones can be picked. This is my yam chest. Got like 50 yams in there right now. I'm going yam crazy. I need to upgrade my watering can, but I wanted to make sure that I got these yams out first because I really did not want to mess up this order after buying 100 yams for it. Found this out last night because Kim told me. You can talk to the scarecrows and they tell you how many crows they've scared off. I just love there's so many little details like that. It's already 7.20 at night. This day's almost over. Before I go to bed, I'm going to waste the last of my energy just cutting down a couple of trees because everything you upgrade in this game, like the barns and the coops and everything takes so much wood. What a good day's work. If you had had me guess before now how long a day took, I'd say like 10 minutes. But I've been recording for almost an hour already and it was only one day, but it feels like I've been playing for 10 minutes. Show me the yams. Oh, baby. I'm about to get a substantial reward. Look at all these yams. Gonna be rich, gonna be yam rich. 
Why am I five yams short? Oh, thank God there's more yams. <sighs> ship a hundred. How do I ship them? I'm going to put one in there. And I'm going to see if it ticks up. Chat. Is this right? I'm so scared, I don't want to mess it up. It's a hundred yams. Okay, there's a, Reddit, there's a Reddit post. I'm not the only dumb one. Get X crop and ship it, and you have to sell it through the shipping bin as normal. You don't get extra credit until you rest and the items sell overnight. I am terrified that I'm about to do this wrong. I'm missing one yam. Um, hello? I'm looking for a yam. Can you show me yams? Oh, it's right there. I literally have exactly a hundred yams. I didn't leave any room for error. There's the yams. All right, I am going to go buy more yams because I want to I want to keep yams. And I think they take eight days to hatch. So we got to go buy more yams, which is good because then I can show you the store. I know like everyone has played this game already, but I never played it on my channel. So I feel like I'm introducing you to it. Give me some of them yams. So most of this soil is already fertilized. We can go ahead and just bing, 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 bong, boom. Bing, 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 bong, boom, 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 bing, boom, bing, 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 boom, boom. As soon as I'm done watering them, I'm going to sprint to the blacksmith. Actually, I'm going to also take the geodes I have. I need to make sure these are watered. Actually, I didn't even do the math. <gasps> oh, I'm so dumb. Yams take eight days to grow. Crops die at the end of the season. It's the 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th. My yams aren't going to grow. My yams aren't gonna grow. That's actually the real reason why Kim and I stopped playing on our joint farm. I took all our money and invested it in a crop. But I was like, Kim, I'm gonna plant like a thousand of these and we're gonna make big. And then the next day, the season changed because I wasn't looking at that at all. And we lost everything. We lost all our money, all the crops. And we both got so upset. We just scrapped that whole world. And we both started our own separate games. <laughs> Again, there is so much to this game. So many little things. You find geodes sometimes. I found these in the mines and you get to crack them open and see what's in them. And I don't have that. Yet. Then you can upgrade your tools. So I want to upgrade to a steel watering can. But because I got some collectible things out of those geodes, we can go to the museum and we give these to the museum. Sometimes if you complete a set or give him a certain amount, you get a reward. And the rewards can be really cool sometimes. You go on all day. I just, I just love it. I just love it so much. And that's my day. Oh, oh, baby, payday. Mm. <laughs> Chef's kiss. That is payday right there. So these jams take days and they just finished all at once. I'm so excited to see what I get for selling these yams. I really am. Oh, mama. <laughs> For the 14 regular yams, they sold for 176 each, for two and a half. Then the silver yams sold for 220 each for 9k. The gold yams got me 12k. I'm so invested in this stupid game. I just love it. I love it. 40k, baby! All right, what do I get? And another 9k! That's the most money I've had by far in the game. I am a rich bitch right now. I wanted to thank you for your hard work, taking care of my special order. Here's a mini shipping bin as a token of my appreciation. Place it anywhere. <gasps> Where would be most useful to put that? Where am I ever going to be that I have a ton of stuff that I need to sell over there? But still, that's cool. And it's cool that I got that because it was from a quest that I had to pick between two things. So I got the money for just selling the yams, plus an extra 9K, plus a pretty cool reward. I love this game. I'm probably a good 15 hours into this world, maybe more. I honestly have lost track of time. It feels like a day takes 10 minutes when you're playing because it's so fun and you have so much to do and it feels like you have so little time. But I'm realizing that each day actually lasts like half an hour. It just feels like it's flying by. So honestly, if I feel like I've played 15 hours, I've probably played 30. My point is, I've played all this time grinding to make $1,000 here, $500 here, and to get an insane payoff like that, it honestly feels like a real world won the lottery moment because you have to work so hard for everything in this game, but they sprinkle in all these little exciting moments and things to look forward to every day and every week and every month. I love this game. That's where I've been all month is playing this, but I'm working on some new stuff in and around playing this still. I have content coming, um, and, if I, and if I don't, you know what happened to me. I love you all. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you had a good time, and I'll, uh, I don't know. See you guys. <laughs> See you guys later.